This is why it seems like I can't get a vehicle done. Um, because I got another fish tank. Um, I started cleaning out, but I, I bought some aquarium seal. It's not 100% silicone. That's not safe for fish. So I can't put that in because the tank is way too heavy. So I have to wait till it gets warmer so I can put a fan in here so it doesn't affect the fish. But here's my side jobs or side gigs or whatever. Um, I'm not going to say I reupholstered it. I'm just going to say I recovered, recovered it. This is the first time I did piping. Um, there's some old school. I come out of an office building. They were laying alongside a road. Um, it was like 20 bucks for four of those and then a bench too. And I didn't even want the bench, but um, I bought it anyway. But that's why I can't. Um, get some things done uh, ankles getting better um, my wife had to have this it's nice I just don't care for it because it's white um, it's really gushy real gushy but when we got we went to Ollie's I don't know if you guys got an Ollie store around but we went and looked this up we paid what 198 for it and then you put extra pad on it underneath it but if you look up this brand so we paid that and it's like a discount store it's new this thing goes for eight hundred nine nine dollars not uh none of my money wow anyway and then i don't know if i've ever said my philosophy is I buy anything, anywhere, at any time, for the right price. Yeah, I still gotta walk down the stairs sideways, but I can walk up the stairs straight. I wear flip flops because it's getting better, but not all the way. So I got those two benches, and I recovered that bench. And I recovered this bench. And the reason I know they're old is because, and this is the, I guess some are stools. This is the bench. I didn't even want this, but whatever. That's everything was that color. So you know some old school stuff. Yeah, we'll get back in a minute. Uh, this is how you know it's old. You know, because you got these big stainless steel things. That's number one, it tells you. And nobody uses three-quarter inch true plywood um, to build furniture. They, they just they just don't. They actually came out, came in, were built in Kenwood, Michigan. It's about 50 minutes away. I guess it used to be a furniture manufacturer. I don't know. Oh. I tell you what, I wish I could weld like that right there. Well, that I would be happier than who done it. I understand it's stainless, but I'd be happier than who done it. Uh, so, what I have is some gray for the van. I actually forgot that I had it, but um, I have it. Um, in the meanwhile, I ordered five, no, six more yards because if you order five yards. Uh, shipping is like $5.99, but if you order one more yard, shipping's free. So, hey, let's just get six yards for something to do. Hello, because I love free shipping. But this is what I noticed, and this is why I'm not going to use it for the van. You might not notice it, but I notice it. See the, see on the right-hand side where it's darker? It's not a big deal, and I would use it, but I have six more yards of gray coming. I'm just like, <laughs> I guess I'm the gator guy, okay? I don't know, because I, I, they have gray, uh, gray, brown, and black, and they actually have a silver that I've never bought. And same thing with this. We have um, <laughs> six yards of that. I, I just like the stuff, okay? It just, for $7.62 a yard at 54 wide, um, you just can't, really can't beat it. So, 
Uh, I see how this is kind of messed up right here. I don't know if they, I don't know if they burnt crack on it or what they did. I don't know. Anyway, it was something out in the rain. The dude won like 40 bucks for it. And I walked away and he said, well, what will you give me for it? I said, 20. Okay, we'll take it. Whatever, fine. Anyway, so I was just going to recover this. But now I'm going to recover this today. And I'm going to do it in the gray because I don't care for the color. And I'll wait for my six yards of that. Uh, I went to the sheet metal place a day where it's, they sell, all they do is sell steel to buy a 4x8 sheet of um, 18 gauge metal so I can do some patch panels on the van because it's more than what I thought and yada yada and I'm running out of steel and they're, they're closed on Monday. I know some businesses are like that. Gun shops run here like that too. They're open Tuesday through Saturday. Uh, I don't know why but it is, it's nice for business. But when I got this, I realized that I got, actually got double, enough to do double, so to be more padded. Now I ordered some, uh, uh, see this is where stuff gets carried away. You see these little, I don't know what they are, like little round little stud deals, kind of whatever you want to call them. Um, that you, I put in my boots that punk rockers have, and then when you put your shoe in there, if you don't put duct tape in it, It'll actually, <laughs> it's something I didn't think of. You actually have to put duct tape inside because all them little prongs will catch your socks. Well, I ordered some of those today, a hundred of them, because the more you buy the, in bulk, the cheaper it is. It is what it is. But when I, uh, I think, I'm not sure, when I do the diamond, I think I'm going to put studs on every corner. Uh, I'm not sure. If not, then I'll find something else to do. Yeah. Okay, let's move on. Here's half a breakfast. There you go, some sausage and some eggs. I'll buy anything, <laughs> anywhere, at any time, for the right price. Um, yeah, let's just speed this up. This is a well branded name around here lately. It's, it's compatible to like the Kenwood, Alpine, Pioneer, things like that. They're up and coming, they got good reviews. Um, real reasonable price and real good quality. Um, they'll handle like 2600 watts per speaker. Um, what I like about them is myself, I don't know, I just think that when they got that big foam thing that they won't bottom out and then when I started to notice them they actually sewed that together. I bought this box. <laughs> the box is, we're just going to move on. We bought the subs, bought the box, bought a Pioneer 2 Den stereo. Uh, all the power, power zero gauge wire, two different amps, both of them SCAR. Um, we're just going to say this. When I got home, I priced this up. Uh, uh, I priced it up before I went there by this ballpark because I didn't know all the model numbers. There's over $2,000 worth of stuff here that uh, she got it for less than half price. Because um, this is what I realized when I got home. One thing is, I didn't realize this is how they do it. How they run the wires right through the box, which is fine. Um, I noticed Whoever made it, they they routed the corners off. They they put some love into it. And this is what they had onto it. I don't know if the guy that bought it, maybe he got the box this way, or he glued this crap on. But it's actually birch plywood. If you look at it, which is rare. That top board is two three quarter inch glued together which would be what an inch and a half that's pretty um i heard of in his vehicle before he had a suburban and that thing pounded i think it wasn't inside he just pulled up my yard and i could hear it was just a pounding um here's the problem i it's been here for about a week or so i don't know got other things to do i started looking at it um, yeah, let's let's just start getting reality here. You ever buy something and then you get home and it's like, wow, I didn't realize it was that big. 
So we're at 22. 22. 4 foot. I put this on a scale. With the speakers in it, this box weighs 227 pounds. It weighs 40 pounds more than I weigh. Wow, when I put it in the blazer to bring it home, it, it weighed it down. Here's the problem. There's a board divided right there. Yeah, that's fine and dandy. Hello, anything else want to fall? There you go. And it's ported here. It's not just ported here. There's actually a piece of wood that goes all the way back here. Because I took these out. You see how they're loose? Because I, I bought the black gator the pad that. Because it's my thing. Well, I started looking around and thinking, uh, what? Excuse my language. Parental guidance, user discretion advice. What the fuck is that going to fit into, Tom? Really? What, what, what the fuck are you going to put that on? You going to strap it to your motorcycle? What, what the? So, um, we're going to put this on the back burner. And I'm going to split the box, I think. Leave that piece of wood on the right hand side. And if anybody's ever split... A speaker box it is almost impossible to cut it all the way around perfect because my table saw I got a table saw but it just doesn't go that high but I'll try it I think it only goes up like 20 inches high with a crank not 22 that would be the best way to do it um, so I'd have to buy a three-quarter inch which ain't gonna be three-quarter inch <laughs> plywood to build the other side, then wrap it in gator, and then do what with it? Um, would I buy it again? Yes. You know why? Because 18s make me smile, and I've never had 18s, okay? And I love a good deal. That's a, my brother, Bob, that passed away. Our philosophy was anything, anywhere, anytime, right price, we'll buy it. That's just the way it is. We love a good deal. Yeah. So... I think yeah, I think I'm probably gonna do this bench first today because um I cut all this uh, and then I'll do this later. I cut all the cement out. I don't know how many minutes this has been recording, but this is what I did yesterday, and I really should have done it because my ankle is kind of bothering me. And um, anybody that say you break the cement up right here. Um, you think you're just gonna cut it and do a chisel and yeah, really you're a dreamer What you got to do is you got to cut it in pieces and then dig up underneath it and then hammer it or chisel it To get the break because if the cement's on the ground you can't break it because the ground stops it from giving any leeway um, so this is what I did yesterday. Now I realize this morning that I got to put fill dirt in it because when I come into, this is where the sled shed is. When, I don't even know if you can see, I, can, I can't see. This is how, this concrete was old. Yeah, this is how thick it was. Yay. So I took it out from here, that whole corner, that whole thing right there. Well, didn't realize I had to put fill dirt in it, dirt back in it. Why? Because when you run a sled in here, it's fine. The reason I didn't want to cement it here is because it just the carbides can't grab on the cement when you pull your sled in, especially if there ain't a whole lot of snow on the ground. So now I'll be able to get in and not tear up the carbides. Okay, but here's the problem. When you back the sled out, what a sled does, anybody know has snowmobile, it wants to dig down. And she's going to dig down, so now i got to fill this in with dirt. So I ain't got time right now because, um, yeah, Johnny ankle hurts. See where I had to cut all that stuff? Yeah, that's what I've been doing. Um, <clears throat> sled is pretty much all together. i just got to put my guards on, guards on it and call it a day. Peace, Bobby. Peace to oneself. Peace on earth. Rest in peace. Bigger piece of pie. Piece of action. Piece of pussy. Piece of corn dog. Piece of pizza. When the big dogs get all done eating, you can probably just get a piece of something, motherfucker. Um, the reason I'm going to do that bench in is gators because uh, 
the lawn furniture pad stuff was deteriorate so I, I bought I don't know how many yards of vinyl to recover that and then I bought I made some plywood things and vinyl and foam to cover that even though nobody comes over here but yeah um, just in case <laughs> yeah just in, just in case I can't believe these guys ain't um man these birds and squirrels usually just are all over the cracker jacks but I don't know it must be full so that's about all I got they, they say today <clears throat> um yeah hop along Cassidy um, five, four, three, two, one, peace.